all right everybody what's going on it is distracted here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over how i record my gameplay and uh everything in obs studios my own obs studios setting i'm just putting it out there just in case anybody needs this uh type of information maybe they come across mine i don't know there's tons of them online none of those actually helped me get my settings you know where they are i had to do a lot of trial and error um, I tried using other people's settings. It just didn't work out for me. So I'm going to use my settings to help somebody else out, hopefully. All right. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to have OBS up and you're going to have a lot of stuff going on, maybe, or actually you're not going to have anything going on, but you want to, you want to have a game being recorded or your screen being recorded, whatever. Um, we're going to get you to that point and then we're going to go into the settings for you know the best visual quality you know for youtube so what we're going to do is we're going to go to scenes right click add and you're going to add a scene name it whatever you want and then from there you're going to go into sources and then sources are going to be what you're actually recording. So a display capture is going to be just like this. It's capturing my screen display or my desktop display, my, you know, my whole screen. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and right click on source in the sources box, go to add. And display capture, like I said, is gonna be your, you know, whole monitor screen. Game capture is going to be a specific game that you are playing. Um, media source could be like a YouTube video. If you want to have a YouTube video or something in the background or Spotify. Uh, I believe it could be something like that. And then there's also video capture device. That's going to be like a webcam. So if you have a webcam, that's what you're going to use for that. But right now we're just going to go over, um, like I already got mine. We got a game video capture display capture and then a keyboard for tutorial purposes so now that we have that set up we're going to go ahead and go into settings all right so these are the settings um general you can find the theme as you can see mine's different from yours um, i'm going to throw this in there because i think rackney is a really cool theme and I like it when OBS looks pretty cool I like it when it looks good I don't know so that's how you change the theme a little freebie for you all right output I'm not much of a streamer but yeah this is uh that's why I'm not gonna go over my streaming um output or yeah output settings we're gonna go over recording because that's primarily what I do my output mode is on a advanced instead of simple. Yours is probably on simple. And I suggest you keep it there until you know what you actually need to adjust. So um, if you want to just go ahead and jump into advanced, then go right ahead. I like to explain things out. So you might have a pretty good overview of what you're needing to adjust whenever you do this. So we'll just get into it. If you have any questions again comment down below and i'll get back to you or reach to me re or reach out to me on twitter i'll get back to you as soon as i can all right so the type i just left at standard uh recording path obviously that's where your recordings are going to go type is standard recording path is obviously where your video videos are going to go like whenever you record them and then recording format all right, so my recording format is going to be MKV, and I will go over why I use MKV. The reason I use MKV is because I didn't like having to wait for OBS to finalize the video whenever I used MP4. So that's why I use MKV. Um, I have three audio tracks, and I will do another video on how, like, why and how to set that all up because it is very useful if you're going to be recording in my opinion. So we can go over that in another and we can go over that in another video. Encoder, I use the Nvidia NVENC H.264. 
Um, there is an X264 or something like that that you can use, but I, I've always used the NVENC one. I don't know what the AMD graphics cards have one that NVENC one is for NVIDIA graphics cards, uh, specifically. So that's what I'm using. Uh, output is a 1920 by 1080. I use a, on the rate control, I use a variable bit rate or a VBR. There is a CBR and there's also CQP. I don't know what the fuck that is. Then there's lossless. And I, I guess that just like bumps everything crazy high, but I like to be able to control everything. So CBR is a constant bit rate. That means it's constantly going to be running at 12,000, um, kilobytes per second. So I don't want it to constantly be running at 12,000 kilobytes per second. I want to do variable bit rate or VBR because I was having issues with encoding overloads and I want the game to look really nice. So I have my game settings high and sometimes the encoder would just get overloaded. Now it might be like my processor or something like that, just not being able to handle it. I'm not 100% sure on it, but I do know that whenever I ran it at around 10 to 12, 13,000 kilobytes per second, I didn't see a lot of that like encoder encoding overloads uh, prompts. So what I did is I did variable bit rate. So whenever it can, it will max out at 16,000, which is what YouTube maxes out at. And then whenever it gets really shitty, like things are going on, it goes down to 12,000. And that's like the lowest I personally want it to go. So that's why I have it on variable bit rate. Um, preset is max performance. Profiles on high. GPU zero, max B frames two. All right, so video settings, 1920 by 1080 on both of them by cubic. There is another one that goes uh, 32 samples. If you want to use that, go ahead. Common FPS values and 60 FPS because that is the standard. Um, hotkeys and advanced. Yeah, I got my process priority on high because I want OBS to have the, uh, you know, to have the highest priority so my recordings don't get mess up, messed up. All right, so that is the recording settings so whenever you get done recording you have to remux your recordings so if you go up to file remux recordings there you go you can, you can click and drag wherever your video videos are saved and then boom 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 you press a remux and then it's like just rendering it out as a as an mp4 um super simple so that's all I really got for y'all. If you have any questions, comment down below. Um, hit me up on Twitter. I will obviously get back to you guys as soon as I can. And yeah, we will see you in the next video, alright? Peace.